My darlings, hello, hello, and welcome to Life Simplified with a and and I'm Anna Nikita. In my previous episodes, I talked about placebo effect and how we can apply placebo to our everyday life, to think positive and to be happy. Unfortunately, placebo has its ugly cousin that is evil and horrible and as powerful nocebo effect. And actually, it is a real thing. There is an article in Psychology Today that talks about this powerful syndrome, and I will put links below for TED Talk and for that article that I think everybody should read and pay attention. It is the power of negative thinking and how it can affect us and every day in our work, in our business, and in our personal life. So I think we should pay attention to those negative people around us that can actually put us down, take us down. I remember uh, when I was much younger and I had a toddler, I would drop him off at school and there would be one person that would come and talk to me almost every morning and she would come and say, are you feeling okay? You look so tired. And it was eight o'clock in the morning, I was feeling fine, but sure thing, I would come home and I would feel tired. So one day, something clicked in my head and I said, I wonder if that's what it is. So next time I saw that woman approaching me, I said, stop. I'm feeling great, I feel amazing, there's nothing wrong with me. And guess what? I felt great for the rest of the day. So identify people around you that can put those negative thoughts in your head, that you're not good enough, that you're not doing good enough job, that you're not looking good, that you're not feeling well. Remind yourself that everything's fine with you, that you're happy, that everything is great because negative thoughts can kill you. It's like, Cancer, nocebo effect is very, very powerful. Another scary example is that when I was a little girl and my cousin was a teen, she kept telling me and she kept, re kept repeating that over and over throughout her life that she's not going to live past 45. And guess what? One day she came home at 43 and died being a healthy woman. So I guess programming yourself this way can also harm you. So make sure that you always think that you're going to live forever, that you're healthy, that there's nothing wrong with you. I have another great example of of this women that get together every week for lunch and they're in their 80s and the first person who starts talking about their health will pick up the check. I know that these gals will live forever. So I think just programming yourself that life is great, that you can conquer everything is a very, very good path. I think it's fantastic to think positively and pay attention to those near you that are negative, that are hypochondriacs, that want to put you down, take you down. And they're actually people out there. And I know that they're evil people that through putting negative thoughts in your mind can harm your marriage, can harm your business, can harm your relationship with your friends. So be aware of the world and I know the world is a beautiful place but still they're evil out there and nocebo is one of them so I wish you all the best and I will see you here very very soon kissy kissy bye